we've got nothing else to do, why don't I tell you a story? I'm on the case. What's wrong? Are you in...
Got a problem you can't solve. Stay close. The night Let's get down to business. Don't be scared. I see everything. Lucky day. A fist of retreat. Fire hazard. Get the fairy. This realm is... If you ever...
so, Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a react. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. To me, it's so gross! What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be any... There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing... No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatanic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an... <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a, it's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! Genius Invocation TCG! Haven't you heard of it before? Apparently, it's a game that was invented by a scholar in the academy. That's right. The game's been catching on lately. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the... It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled in a... After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter! Okay, fine! Paimon's curious and would like to give it a try. Please? Although... It seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, cause... Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. But, if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler? Paimon? Let's go to the Cat's Tale and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Add Astra. Thank you for complete.
merge right now. Emerge right here, right now. Emerge. Right here, emerge. Hey! Allow me! Stabilize. Right now, emerge. Right here. Everyone hold hands.
welcome to the cat's tail. Ah, <laughs> it's the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale, no matter how much Mora you offer. Uh, don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But, uh, we can talk about that later. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius... Ah, Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated... Speaking of which, I believe you've already met. Hmm? Met who? You know, Prince. This is the Cat's Tail after all. So I thought having a cat take care of our new... Ah, allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant, that's all. Wow! Another guy you can understand animals! How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. Meow. Oh, what's that? Shu Yen, in the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? Yes, it was the sacred duels of Genius Invocation, TCG, that formed and cemented our bonds of mutual understanding. So, playing Genius Invocation, TCG, fu- Hmm, somehow Pylon doubts that. Uh-huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation, TCG, th though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his... <clears throat> That's what... Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine! I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty Cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my... If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Hmm... <gasps> How about this? Diona! Blah, 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 what is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know. Huh, 
Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh, seriously. Games it. What can I say? Uh, anyway, I. Ha! Oh. Uh, you know. Prince speaks. C could it really? Sure, why not? Shuyan. Oh, okay. Yes? You should have built... Uh, what's with the blank stairs? Come on! Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG. Yeah, we need a practice deck. Can't you... Shh, there's no such thing. Okay, let me think. <sighs> oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days... Are you sure that... Eh, it's already been a few days. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. Y All right, so now we... Yep. So, are you ready to s- All right, then let's be- <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew, pew, pew. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be your- Now then. You're gonna need a character on the field to start with. Let's finish this swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every ra- These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Once the roll phase is over, you'll enter the action phase, where the during the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. Not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their... And as you can see, once the enemy finishes... Now, these are Omni-Element Dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're gonna use them to pay for the Pyro Dice needed for this skill. That's one opponent down for the count. But the game has only just... Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. Huh. <sighs> In that case, let's end this round. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. All right. 
And a fresh new realm means time to roll the dice again. Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Huh? There's no way we'll be able to use D Luke's skill now. But don't worry, situations like these are why we have the option to re-roll! <laughs> Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and re-roll them. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round, this means that since you finished first the last round, alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Once Diluc's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But... never mind. Let's start with the... Diluc's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal attack needs fewer pyro die. Now we have three. It's time to heal. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. <laughs> Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Seems like any move by Kai is going to cost quite a lot of... When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Dodge this! Good! Now our opponent is affected by cryo! Different types of elemental death and elemental reaction. At the moment, your opponent is affected by cryo. Oh, that reminds me! Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, in this case, we'll have to switch to Dilu. You 
you can spend one elemental die of any kind to switch a standby character to... Let's go. Switching character... Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked D-Luke. All right then, now that D-Luke is our active character, it's time to you. Because the opponent is already affected by Cryo, dealing when triggered, Meld increases. This will allow you to deal loads of damage and... <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Uh-oh. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and... So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see the symbol? Yeah, that means you'll need to play elemental dice of the same type. Other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now. So, playing an action card from your hand is a for- Simply put, you could continue to act even after playing an action card. But wait. D Luke's elemental skill costs three pyro dice. And well, not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic node. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well. Look, ingenious invocation TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and you just like playing cards from your hand. Elemental tune. Come on, hurry up! Use the element. Well, 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 would you look at that? Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught! Because you have the White Iron Greatsword equipped, Searing Onslaught will deal one extra damage! Ah. Now comes the final part! Hoo yeah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back. Once 
you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy. This, let's see how you do this. Let's go. your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say. Check it out. So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be your... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win.
This will be interesting. Freeze! All right, cool. Th what we just played was an adventure challenge. Does that Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards, or in adventure challenge mode. But the rules are all the same. As long as... Although I feel there are still many details to grab... That was quite the detailed explanation. I what? What? Oh! We I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. Slow reactions. Wait. <gasps> are you c anyway? What are you the cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait, this card? It's Diluc's character card! Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh... He wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. Hmm. Eye patch. Gah, I was trying to give the opposite. To Don't worry. Somehow. So, what about the Dilu character card? I don't mind. It's just a card. I didn't expect Dilu to be familiar with Genius Invocation TC. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every night. I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a... It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is. Don't 
Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh-oh. Guard Captain. I hope Kaya will... Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try... Ooh, two new players having their butt. In order to play an official do Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others. Now, it looks like we each... All right, let... the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between in a duel. Your opponent can also use action cards, and th at the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take action. <laughs> are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the... Let's go. I can do it. Animal test 6308.
absorption test. I want to help. Test 6308. <laughs> My research. Okay. One character card defeated. Freeze. <laughs> My research. <gasps> Darn. I didn't factor that into the equation. This moment will be frozen in time. Let's go.
There can be no... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yes. Don't push your luck. Ah, this doesn't look good. <sighs> I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body. That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score! And the desire to win? <laughs> but... A losing... Hmm. Besides, Sucrose, you're already... Thank you. Good! Haven't... I'll definitely... Alright! I think you should have a... Huh. Burning Monstep... I see. So you have now grasped the rules of... <laughs> That's right! The trap... Uh... Paimon? 
Be oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. It's just a tape, basically, to... So... The duel you... I agree. Although... Same way you can... A well-trained ear is sucrose. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here. Oh, Tameis mentioned it, didn't he? It was... Oh, that's right! So the casket of... Uh, well... Oh! I can guess what you're gonna say! That would mean an extraordinary... Darn! What a letdown! All right, now... All ca Probably for the best. Okay, so go and... S but even for the traveler... Meow. Excellent plan, Prince. Hello, you three. Has little... Ah, I see you're here. So this is a cast... That's right. A... Yeah, well... True. So I'm glad that these... You're not wrong. All right. In that case, I'll go... Thanks. I'm sorry, is there any- We wanna become- Oh, I see. Are you quote- <sighs> So be it. Then let the duel begin. Let's go.
Yes. Gosh, I lost. Let's play again when We did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat scale. Paimon wonders who Prince is going to pick as our final contestant. Defeat the opponent, not just Prince. I can't wait. I she won't lose to them, whoever it is. Right, Traveler? What ho, fellow voyager of the sea, step forth. Pardon my delay. Huh? Your opponent, that's what Prince said. For, as the name This path is a treacherous one. It must be tread. That is why none is more full. It... Indeed. Main... Oh, that's true. Ah, this makes sense now. Prince... Hmm. The prince... Main Froyla... So there's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fischl or the Traveler is gonna come out of this duel as an official TCG player. Indeed. Oh, the princess in herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the em main Fräulein. Well, what say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the princess in Deva Ertelung, who even then I say. It
can do it. Test 6308. Let's go.
This will be interesting. Couldn't break the curse. This is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. Freeze! I'm not done. Uh, what happened? Oz, with lightning twixt upper and lower mandible, strike thy pointy beak into this obstacle and remove it from my path! Main Fräulein, I cannot simply attack the Traveler. Let's finish this, swiftly. Ha! Shall descend once again. Impossible, Old traveler. What, what a truly ingenious! Congratulations, you've won three duels. Yeah. Oh, yep. I've won two games. Nice. Secret. Hmm. It seems I am forced to commemorate your good main Fräulein with Wow, it's Fischl's care to a mere token. Oh, um, nothing would delight me more. One other thing. When I got back. No card game in the world has a card. Let's go get our prom. With three electro dice, I summon my eternal from the. Ah, so it was. The first thing this handbook tells you. Secondly, arrange. And thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the. Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang of it, that's it, really. It's yes, indeed. I hope you have fun. Thank you. 
Most humans could have the entirety of their fleeting lives chronicled in but a few short lines. Their stories really make for terribly dull reading. Personally, I think the idea of things staying the same forever is quite beautiful. Oh, but alas, that is simply not the way the world works. <laughs> <laughs> 